Matt Imhoff had his routine down to a science. The same breakfast, the same number of pitches in the pen, the same pause before taking the mound under the Friday night lights. It was the routine that helped carry Matt and the Cal Poly Mustangs to the 2014 regionals. So there is a standing ovation for Matt Imhoff. The routine that caught the eye of the Phillies before they take the lefty in the second round as the 47th overall pick of the 2014 draft. But on June 25th of 2016, Matt's postgame was anything but routine. Imhoff delivers. Life dealt Matt a nasty curve. Well, you know, it was uh, it was a normal day. I, it was actually a, a good day up until the, that point. I finished pitching the ninth inning through a scoreless ninth inning. I think I struck out two guys, one, two, three. So talked to my trainers like, hey, we always have a post game uh, exercise routine to do of some type. Go into the training room, um, grab the bands, start doing my exercises. And our uh, our one of the other relief pitchers is in there, and I'm talking to him, and I'm kind of talking a little smack. And I just did a repetition. I remember getting to the back of the repetition and feeling the tension break. Um, and it was just a flash of silver caught me right in the face. I, at first, I, you know, it, it hurt so bad I couldn't really tell what was going on. I was on the ground. I knew I was bleeding. I, I thought my nose was broken, but I couldn't really tell. I just knew I was, you know, I was in so much pain. I was like dry heaving and I couldn't really catch my breath. Took me to the hospital and they had the CAT scans. And I remember thinking to myself, what's the worst thing that could happen to me right now? And uh, finally, one of the doctors comes to me and says, hey, man, this is, this is really bad. Uh, we need to get you to Baskin Palmer. They're the eye place, the best spot in the world, because we don't think that you're going to be able to see it getting out of that eye. I was on my own at this point. My trainer hadn't made the trip with me, so it was literally me by myself in a hospital bed, bandages across my face, and you know, getting this news that you know, you're never going to see out of your right eye again. And it was definitely the lowest I've ever been in my life. So by the time I had my second surgery, my entire family was there, my dad, my sister. And I remember waking up and they brought my parents in. We just all kind of had a moment. I think the entire week had taken a toll on us. And I think it was, you know, a lot of sadness and sorrow for what had happened to me, but also, you know, there was a bit of thankfulness that, you know, it was over with. It was difficult to look where you, your eye used to be and not see something looking back. I thought I'd lost everything. That's the way, you know, I, I didn't think there was any chance I could play baseball. I didn't think there was any chance I could drive a car. I thought I was, handicapped for the rest of my life. When I got hit, I got hit. Uh, it's The hook was probably like that big and it hit me right here and went across this side. And so it broke this, it broke two of my orbital bones, it broke this and it obviously damaged my eye. And they're like, you know, if that hits a half inch over, you lose both eyes. And if that hits an inch over to your left, you're probably dead. What happened to me was terrible, but I mean, I tried to look at it in the frame. It's like terrible things happen every day, and if this is the worst, if this is the worst that life has to throw at me, then I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be okay. He's taken it as good as anybody could, and right away, you know, he, he never really showed what was what was thinking on the inside. But we had some conversations soon after the accident, and he said he was ready to move on. He was comfortable with it, and he's never, he's never looked back. Matt returned to Cal Poly for classes in the fall and officially announced his retirement from baseball in January, seven months after the accident. Matt joined the Mustangs as an undergraduate assistant and will complete his degree this spring. Another part of the healing process was, you know, hey, let's get going again. Let's start life again, right? Let's go back to college. And the hardest part for me was actually getting to a point mentally where I felt like I was the same person, that I believed entirely that the person who was a professional baseball player at the top of his game was the same person who was going back to school at Cal Poly. That's kind of what I had to overcome and it was like a self-perception thing for me where I had to see myself as Matt Imhoff and not as someone who had gotten hurt and that was, that was the most challenging part. The DNA, what you saw when he pitched here at Cal Poly, that's how he is off the field. He's very focused, can put a task together and he has great execution. I feel like I'm a, the same person I was. I'm a competitive guy. I like to win. Uh, I like to spend time with my family. Um, I like to make people laugh. That's kind of, it's kind of who is Matt to me. Just, a, just a guy trying to go about his business and make a name for himself. I had suffered a, a life-altering injury, not a life-ending one. My road might be a little harder than it used to be, but it's not over. Like the road didn't end where where the surgery happened. What had happened to me was terrible and was tragic, but it wasn't the end of the story.